In honour of my guest, retired Navy SEAL and Osama Bin Laden slayer, Rob O'Neill, I ordered a buffet of giant, dangerous weapons. Rob's a perfect shot with all of them, of course, but I need to try them out. And then I'll find the biggest, funnest and most deadly one to protect myself from a tyrannical government. <laughs> this is a live set today, and we will have live fire, live rounds on the set. Uh, so the main thing is we want everybody's safety. Uh, we want you guys to go home, no bullet holes in you. How many people have died on this range? Actually, uh, we've had two, uh, two people actually get shot, but that's about it. No one's actually passed. And you've had over two people that have visited the range, correct? Absolutely. Good, good stats. I'm excited. Hell yeah. I don't think it's gonna be that hard. It's like a video game that's got fucking one button. This one is the MPX. It's technically a pistol. You can tell we're shooting nine millimeter here too. Of course, it's just my opinion. But if you need to say something's technically a pistol, it's not really a pistol. <laughs> Now, you might think that military-grade weapons of any kind would be hard to purchase. You might think that. Or... Submachine Gun! The semi-automatic version is available to the public. Online or in store. It's got a short-stroke push rod gas system. That makes firing lots of bullets super comfortable. You can use it for... Home protection. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's for. So keep it pointed down, range. Put your other hand under here. Oh. Full high. Fucking hold still, bad guy. Uh, what am I doing wrong? You're missing. Uh, my home is safe, but I think I shot my neighbor and his cat. It's easy. Nailed it. <laughs> I'm feeling more American by the minute. Give me something bigger. 12 gauge pump action shotgun. Pump action. Made to look badass in every movie ever made. And you'll be shooting zombie Bin Laden? Yes. And I'll be shooting the Second Amendment. <laughs> All right. Oh, Christ. Ow. That one kicks a bit more. <laughs> All right, this is the H&K 416. It's an assault rifle similar to the AR-15, preferred by mass shooters everywhere. The manufacturer calls it user-friendly. Buy it online and in stores for... Hunting! Yeah. <laughs> Let's say it's for hunting this time. The weapon that every SEAL carried on the Bin Laden raid. Ah, yes. I'm in the forest. Just me and the deer. This is sport. What does it stop? How many bullets have I got? It goes dry. There, there we go. There. Well, that comes up. All right. Nailed it. SEAL Team 7. For the final test, Rob and I go head to head, and we'll do it with the biggest gun I could find. Some real American sniper shit. This is a 50 cal shit. Sure. It's a big ass bullet. This is a 50 caliber sniper rifle. You shoot this probably uh, over 2,000 meters. Two kilometers. It's a long way. <laughs> We're gonna try to shoot watermelons with this, so if it hits, it should explode the whole thing. So the way we wanna do it, this is like a magazine like the other ones we were using. Maybe not. They would have gotten Bin Laden a lot earlier. <laughs> We're ready to go. Okay. All right, and just click it up. You're on fire. And we're gonna shoot in three. Hold on, hold on. I got, I got a seat. He watermelon. Ready? I think. All right, we're gonna shoot in three, two, one. Blaming the gun. Bin Laden dead versus what, whatever guy that's back daddy on the side there. You missed it. I missed it completely. I'll retire my gun career right there. Hey, maybe Bin Laden would have been okay if he was dressed as a watermelon. That's how he hid for so long in a watermelon patch. So you seals couldn't get to him. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what we learnt was that, first of all, I'm a better shot than the guy who killed Bin Laden. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that if I was a Navy SEAL, 9-11 would have never happened. <laughs> but here's my takeaway. Fuck.
Guns are fun. I get it. I had a great time shooting with Rob and I'd probably do it again. But at a shooting range where it's safe. Formula One cars are fun, but I don't need to race one to the fucking grocery store. <laughs> Bears are fun to look at at the zoo, but I don't want my neighbour stockpiling them, even if he does believe in his right to bears. <laughs> I mean, look at that. You can just buy that online with one click and you have it in your house. Do you really need a 50 caliber sniper rifle that can shoot two kilometers to protect your family? I mean, what? Why stop there? Put down some landmines in your yard. Build a fucking <laughs> moat. Fill a cauldron with microwave tar to dump on people when they ring your doorbell. Where's your fucking catapult? <laughs> But if, if you have done all those things, I do apologise. You have done a wonderful job protecting your family. But if you haven't done those things, then admit, you have that gun because you think it's cool. <laughs>